people have been talking on the internet about things that they're passionate about. One of which... <laughs> people have been talking on the internet. People, no shit. people have been <laughs> no saying shit. things. According to Empire, mm -hmm. Indiana Jones 5 will pit Indy against Nazis again. And it's going to take place in 1969. Perfect time. Is Kanye in this? Uh, I, I doubt Kanye's oh, in it. Okay. If he is, he might be fighting for the wrong That's side. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, he, yeah. Might, he might be the villain. Yeah. Although this villain, which is, uh, I never say his name right, Mads Mikkelsen. He's actually a good-ass actor. Is that how you say that? Mads yeah. Mikkelsen? I don't know. Mikkelsen? I'm uh -huh. guessing so. He looks very similar to the original Nazi villain. So they're kind of doing a throwback to that. Mm. Let's read a short synop, which is, of course, short for synopsis. This is a part five, right? This is part five. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Uh, Empire reveals that... Uh, Indiana Jones 5 finds our hero in 1969 living against the backdrop of the space race. But the American effort to beat the Russians to the moon brings with it some uncomfortable truths for Indy. The simple fact is that the moon landing program was run by a bunch of ex-Nazis. Mm. Boom. Bombs dropped. How ex they are is the question. Okay, so Andy's going to kind of do some digging in, and he's going to find out that, uh, yeah, these assholes aren't done. They well, you know, still hate Jews. Well, you know NASA was run by the Nazis. That's correct. Yeah. That's why this okay. is the backdrop, so cool, which it's a, it's a fascinating backdrop to go with. Hopefully, it doesn't turn out that they're aliens at the end. You know, it's like a Indiana fact? Jones and the Crystal Skull. Fun fact. What's that? Never seen an Indiana Jones movie. None of them? None of them. <laughs> <laughs> looks, like we both, looks like we both have some movies to watch. Bruh. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a beautiful Empire cover where we see Indiana Jones. Do, do you know where he's looking? Do you know what this is? Looks like New is York. Is that New York? Yeah. yeah, it looks like New York. Yeah. So it looks like Indy's going to go to the Big Apple. I wonder if he's going to wear the same clothes, though. It's going to be hot. Well, it's going to be cold probably. 80-year-old Indy's yeah. still in the same wardrobe. Yeah, he's going to dust off that duster. He's got his whip. You see huh. his iconic whip. He's holding onto his hat. I see that, too. He's going to have to hold onto his butt because something crazy is going to go down. Oh, gosh. Yeah. And then we have the beautiful Empire cover where he's looking down. He's very disheveled. Actually, he's not disheveled. He looks pretty clean cut. You know, so for an 80-year-old. It's got to be his last it. indie movie. Is this, did he mention that? Like, he this probably is said that time? 20 years ago when he did it with Shia. <laughs> like, this is my last one. This is my last one. I'm done. Sorry, princess. I'm not doing any more of these. So, quick question. Is it worth watching the indie movies? And your personal... Do they hold up to right now? No, they don't. Okay. Um, well, you before have I see to, this, I'm going to have to watch at least one. It's like watching an old black and white Zorro okay. for the first time. So, it's like... Uh, yeah, so it's like, yeah, yeah. I get it, respect, I get what you're good saying. job in the day, but yeah. Like, yeah. I showed it to my kids relatively young, because I feel like in order to get that type of audience, like yeah. a new gen, you have to hit them when they're like little kids. I know what you mean. Otherwise, they see all like the new fandangled stuff out there, yeah. and uh, they're like, yeah, okay, cool, this looks like ass. I gotta check it out, though. I'll probably watch one of them. What's the one with the little uh, Chinese kid? Short Round? Yeah. That's, he, the that's one? Temple. Temple of that's Doom. Temple? I'll check that one out. That one's the worst. Really? Well, it's, Crystal Skull is the worst, but then Temple. Some people love Temple of Doom. I'm not a big fan. I That's think the one I know the most. The first one and uh, the third one, The Last Crusade. Mm -hmm. Last Crusade is fantastic. Okay. Yeah, that one's really good. I gotta check it out then. I'll watch it. To put, I have to at least watch one of them before I watch yeah. this. 